first time for Reality Check TV, and, and I had to be here for several reasons, but one of the main reasons for this man right here, you know, Mr. Martin Cove. How are you doing, sir? How are you? Nice to see you. So uh, why don't you, uh, obviously, uh, we, we, all, we all know you from great movies, you know, obviously The Karate Kid, you know. But uh, why don't you uh, get the people caught up as to what is going on right now in the world of Martin Cove? Well, we're trying to resurrect the Western. You know, I've been trying to do this for a few years and just finished a movie called Three Tickets to Paradise, which is uh, very loosely based on Treasure of Sierra Madre. Mm. And uh, we shot it down in Tombstone, which is gas. And then there's another show called um, Six Gun Savior with Eric Roberts, and that's a lot of fun. Um, it's a very surreal Western. A lot of demons and devils, you know. Mm. Trying to, you know, do sort of recapture the essence of the Western, but unfortunately we have to play with it with a lot of different styles right now because it's kind of an overexposed genre over the years, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, playing here with my friend Billy Zapka yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Billy and I planning, you know, a couple of projects together. And, yeah. and um, you know, really, you come here and you travel around and you, you find out in the 30th anniversary yeah. of The Karate Kid, we've been all over the place yeah. this year, and, and you find how much that movie meant to a lot of people yes whether it's romance or bullying or fish out of water situations yes. it, it was a very meaningful picture and yes. it's really charming to hear all the feedback you know 30 uh, years yeah. later i actually uh had the pleasure of meeting ralph macchio and i told him that uh, the, the the scene where he is in the locker room after he got kicked in the knee and he was ready to quit and of course and then he was that scene right there that inspired me that it's that it's not it's not just about getting up and continuing the the, the match but it's about getting up in life and you know that's and that's what he said you know basically about getting up you know and getting back up and then of course Pat Morita gave him the little the little rub you know the little rub down with the knee but but that movie right there I want to know you you played should I say a villain you know, but what I would like to know is what kind of fan mail did you get after that movie came out? Did you ha did you get a lot of fan mail from kids or or, or people? Like, what, what were they saying about your, you and your character? Well, they you know they all love to hate that character, mm -hmm. but you know John Kreese was he he was in a sense that people call it pure evil, but he wasn't really evil. John Kreese the back you know the back story that I created for myself outside of Robert Kamen's brilliant script. The backstory I created was that John Kreese was uh, always a champion, never allowed to win when he was in Vietnam, as so many of our boys were. Mm -hmm. We were never allowed to win. He never wanted to experience that uh, ever again, or have his students ever experience that. So ultimately, the Cobra Kai were taught. Uh, it was, uh, you know, embedded into their systems in karate that, uh, you know, no mercy for the weak. And, you know, and losing is not an option. Mm -hmm. And so it evolved from that, you know, and, and that's what I created between the lines and people like that. The fan mail, you know, I still get fan mail. The, the most interesting fan mail I received last week was from Kuwait, from an armed forces in Kuwait. Oh. And it was really f very well written. And another one from Sweden where the, the fellow actually was a big Karate Kid fan and they have these remote photographs. I, they must shoot them off the TV and freeze frame them. But they had these wonderful, you know, bits of dialogue saying, well, you have a big responsibility being a film star. And we hope you carry it through the years with as much success mm -hmm. as we've had watching the movie. Mm. And it was just so interesting. Yeah. You know. And along those lines, you know, obviously you hear, you hear people maybe say, Sweep the leg. You got a problem with that, or no mercy? I mean, do you, do you, obviously people like quoting lines, you know, from from that movie. Does that ever get tiring? Or you, no, no, they they're kind of just, you know, they want to sweep the leg and no mercy. And when I say to Billy, do you have a problem with that, Mr. Mm Lawrence? -hmm. Actually, that's my favorite line in the dojo, walking up and down the dialogue and mercies for the weak here mm -hmm. and on the streets. And then he's obviously staring at Miyagi and Ralph mm -hmm. on the other end of the dojo, and then. I just continue it and saying, do you have a problem with that? What is the problem, Mr. Lawrence? Mm -hmm. And I, that to me is, is part of the character. You know, as much as he's preaching um, mercies for the weak and, you know, someone confronts you, he's the enemy, an enemy deserves no mercy. 
he still wants, he still has a passion and a love for his boys. Mm -hmm. So if they're not paying attention, especially his prime student, it's got to be a really good reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Miyagi and yeah. Daniel are the reason, yeah. you know. Now, along the along the, the lines of the, you know, those quotable lines, was that all out of script, or were you were you allowed to maybe improvise or maybe throw a little line of your own, or, you know, things like? Was there that? was never a reason to improvise anything. I mean, because the script was really written well. I, I remember having a draft of four, it was a 14th draft. Mm. And, um, you know, there was never a reason to improvise much, you know. Mm. John Avelson, he, you know, he's up for improvising. But, you know, we, we had, a, mm. I think it was simplistic, you know. I think, I don't think when I pointed him in one of those scenes in the dojo and I said, but I like that, you know, you don't show up, it's open season on him and you. Check it, check, yeah, take you know, a shot it, at right. that. Yeah. That's, you know, of course, who could forget that particular scene? And, 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 and when I turn around and I say, I like it, I like it, I think that was improvised. Mm. But I really don't remember because it all seemed to flow so well. Mm. You know, and it was written so well. Mm. You know, and um, yeah. You know, and, and John directed. Didn't yeah. give me a lot of direction. Yeah. But it all was the right group. And Jerry Weintraub, as the producer, mm. had the greatest instincts. You know, and surrounds himself with yeah. just wonderful people. Now, of course, a couple of years ago there was a remake of the Karate Kid. And I would like to know if did you see it and what you think of it. I have my opinion on it. You know, <laughs> but what did you think of that? Uh, if you saw it, the, the remake with uh, Jaden Smith and uh, oh yeah, Jack I mean I, I went to the premiere and all. We all did. Uh, it doesn't, you know, that movie. People were up in arms, and I went on radio with Fox Sports and did all this. And I, you know, everybody was pretty angry that they made this movie. And I said, hey, I went to the premiere. It doesn't compete with Karate Kid One. It just pays homage to it. And even Will Smith said that, you know, at the premiere and. He was very conscious that he'd do, you know, justice to Billy's character, to my character. He's very respectful. You know, I mean, we're talking about an icon. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Casablanca. You're yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about the Wild Bunch. Yeah, You're yeah. talking about the Searchers. Yeah. You know, so, you know, one wishes you could be more, yeah, have more of that on the list as an actor yeah. for your career, you know? Yeah. Now, for anybody out there who wants to get in touch, maybe uh, stay in touch with you as far as any appearances you'll be making or any projects you're involved in, do you have a website or anything? Where yeah, people can it's uh, martincoveonline.com, mm -hmm. and uh, that's my website, and I'm on Facebook there, and the real Martin Cove is Twitter, mm -hmm. and um, it's always interesting to have people, you know, communicate. Yeah. I'm not a really big Twitter, but, you know, I, I kind of... I kind of like to hear what people have to say and, you know, maybe someone will come along and help me resurrect the Western. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, that would be nice. It would be nice to see uh, maybe a future John Wayne. I mean, though, I mean, that might not be possible, but, you know, something along those lines. I remember when I was a kid, I loved Westerns. So, yeah, that would be nice to best. see that. And the it's best. The best. It's the value in, the f in filmmaking that's absent today. Yeah. Relationships in Westerns were always the richest. Yeah. And now we, we kind of lack a lot of relationships. It's all... Marvel comic books. Well, thank you very much, sir, for being on Reality Check TV. My